this is a continuation perhaps or a different way to practice appreciating self having metta for self so we did a practice of self-appreciation on monday and by the end of that the some feedback came up that it was easy for some folks it was challenging for some folks and the the um, main theme was, oh, we can't have enough self-appreciation, self-metta, kindness for self. Of course, you can't, um, however many sessions we spend cultivating kindness and compassion for ourselves um, as a way to both support ourselves, fill our own cup so that we're not looking at the world with needy eyes, love me, love me, love me, love me. That's one way to think of how important really self-love, self-metta uh, is. And also another aspect of it is, it is that we tend to be so rough on ourselves usually, so judgmental, so challenging, and, and often we don't even see it that way. We think that that's just the way it is. We don't even, we, we miss how mean, how mean we are being with ourselves. We don't, we don't even see it. So with self-compassion, with self-care, appreciating this person who is me with all their gifts, their beauty, their grace, and their challenges, it, it helps balance. It helps bring some perspective um, and fill our own cup in that way also to be more resilient and to be of service both for the awakening of this being that is us and to serve the world. So not in a self, um, self-satisfying, self self-satisfied way, but really as a way that we can be more available for ourselves and to, to serve the world um, in this brief life that is ours. So the invitation today is to turn towards appreciating ourselves, metta for ourselves, from seeing, appreciating, connecting with our deepest values, with this sense of beauty, grace, values that we cherish. And each of us, there might be different values that we cherish in our lives. So what I'll do in this invitation, this meditation, this, um, this session, and I've done this before, and one person I remember commented that it, it seemed like it was evoking different names of God, each of these values that I dropped in. So um, we'll be set, settling in with our breath, in the body, as always, spending some time at the beginning, just settling, settling with the breath of the body. And then the same way that we would drop in a pebble in the pond and let it reverberate, I'll be mentioning different qualities, different values. I have a list of qualities and values such as generosity, harmony, openness, adventure, beauty, commitment. I have a long list of them. And I will drop them in. And for you to drop them and not to think about them, do not think about them. Drop them into your body. You have choice. You have choice as to how to relate with your experience. So wise effort is helpful here. Yes, you can get distracted and think about these and spend the whole 30 minutes thinking. That's an option. But choose not to do that. Very kindly bringing the mind to the body, dropping in these values, letting them reverberate. Ah, And it might be skillful now then to let go. If there's too much thinking, just come back to the breath and the body to settle yourself. 